What is going on everyone? Alright guys, so I've been playing around with Red Blood Agent 3 and it is mind-blowing. Truly it is. I thought, what if it can help to build mobile apps? So that's exactly what I did. I thought of my niece and I thought, what can I build that she can play with that's also intriguing for parents to potentially monitor her screen time but also assist in character development. So the thought I had was creating a form of Tamagotchi. I'm not sure if you guys can remember the Tamagotchi. It was like this physical device you had. You needed to feed it. You needed to care for it, but just in a much better digital way. So the thought was to create this app, build in great positive characteristics, and see what it will take in order to leverage Agent 3 to build this app, this game, so that we can essentially publish it on the App Store and then take it from there. Let's jump straight in. Okay, so the first thing I do is I go to ChatGPT and I just lay down the idea that I have for those apps. So I'm thinking of creating an app that carries a bit of responsibility that children and adults can use. I'm thinking of creating an app similar to the Tamagotchi. So I'm not sure if you guys remember back in the day you had a Tamagotchi that you needed to care for. And while caring for it, you needed to feed it, etc., etc. So ChatGPT gave me some examples and thoughts that it has and then I confirmed some and also shared my thoughts, then it provided me back with some insights with different stages and different concepts. And then I asked it to do a storyboard for each. So just basically what that looks like in real time and how the app evolves. And then what I usually do is I go over to this design specifications template. So this is basically a prompt that I get filled out and I then provide this comprehensive specification template for Replit before it starts to build to ensure that we don't have to necessarily go in and edit and reprompt features. We want, especially with Agent 3, to build everything out for us, preferably in one go. And we do that by giving it clear instructions. So you'll see it goes into the core architecture, the key user functionalities, the memory and performance optimizations, the API infrastructure, the expanded breakdowns, the scalability considerations, the security architecture, and the recommended building approach. By the way, guys, I have this for you in the description below. So what I then do is I take that over to chat and I ask it to complete it. But something that's extremely important to take note of here when building a mobile app is to say that this app will be built on Replit using a React Native framework through an Expo template. Now, when you go over to Replit, this is what it looks like here. Now, back in the day, you actually needed to go here and you needed this app and then it gave you some templates to choose from, etc. So now what we want to do is you want to choose general so that it has much fewer guardrails allowing the agent to build in any form of developer framework. But what is extremely important here is to use Expo because Expo is going to help us to get the app on App Store but also help you to test the app inside of the device to be able to provide Replit with the feedback. So basically taking all of this, copying all of that and when I come to Replit, I basically drop it in there and then I also again say the same thing I say here. I'll just go into Replit and I will say create this mobile app according to the specifications brief. I'll say ensure that this app is built using React Native and using expo template that's basically what i will say and then i will start so we've already got the app working to some extent by the way guys if you want to see exactly step by step by how i go about building these apps we do have a school community which i've also linked down below where we go through how to build an app in five days and launch it with a lot of additional value the link for that is on the description now guys you'll see here i've pasted that entire brief with everything mentioned then i said create this mobile app like i just showed you guys Replit will take its time it will go through this it will scan it will look at all the different areas it needs to and then it will provide you with a plan back i approved that plan and then Replit started to build and look how much work it does just by default this took 25 minutes this is not even with the agentic agents enabled this is just it's starting to do the work. And as we continue, you'll start to see 
when we start to add the agentic infrastructure. So a lot of this was troubleshooting, ensuring that we can get the app to open up an expo. And here we can see, right, we've got something to work with on mobile. Let's switch over to mobile. So when we want to switch over to mobile, we say start off. So it will start the tunnels and ensure that everything is sorted. By the way, guys, you will need to download the mobile app called Expo Go. This will help to ensure that everything is sorted. And then you can just do a normal QR scanner on the device. So let's see. This is what the app currently looks like. So after you've signed in, there is a onboarding survey that basically asks you your age and also asks you the name. So this app will then start to communicate with you personally. For example, welcome back, Johnny. Good to see you again. And I called this Kinulo. Again, similar to Tamagotchi, but just much more sophisticated and much more positive. So looking at it, you've got the different stages here, the growth journey. We've got the seed It'll also give you some great insight about the seed, how to care of it in this stage, how to develop, how the development works. The same when it gets to the sprout, what does that look like? The care guide, the development. Then it basically moves into a tree. Then from a tree, it goes into a bamboo. And then from the bamboo, it goes into the elder grove. And every single stage has got wisdom. It's got good components to it, very positive. For example, key characteristics, personality traits, etc and inside of the app as well there's consequences but with tamagotchi back in the day if you were to not feed the tamagotchi it will die right so we don't necessarily want to do that yet so the thought here was there's consequences but it will just decrease the age of kinulo so we can look at different milestones here looking at the growth looking at the caring how are we caring for it if we overfeed it we will see that if we underfeed it we will also see that and here you can see the status bar of every single area on what's happening and now I just put Kinulo in sleep so as sleep will continue you'll be able to see exactly what is currently going on what that looks like and also there's some good care guidelines that are built in here so every single one gives you a good indication of how to play with Kinulo what that looks like and how to ensure that it gets to its optimal state of becoming an elder grove so as you can see uh, it is currently in the sleeping stage and this is all on mobile guys this is all currently on mobile so there you have it guys you go from a, an idea take the idea build it into this template get this template over to replit ensure to choose general ensure to say that you're building a react native app using expo Download Expo Go on your mobile device, open it, sign in. Once the app is fully built on Replit, ensure that you test it on mobile before launching it to the Play Store. Let me show you what it looks like when you enable Agent 3's autonomous features. So right here, you can say that are you either directing to build or are you directing to plan, meaning are you planning out the idea? A lot of what I did here initially to start the app, I could have done inside here as well. But I would suggest planning a lot when you're building out new features and functions and really getting a clear direction and vision of what this would look like when the app is being built within longevity so that you don't build unnecessary features that will cause bugs and spend a lot of the time and waste a lot of your credits. So usually, depending on that, for example, you can test that. And then we can also yes say app testing, I'm leaving this on as we continue as this helps significantly to reduce the time and edits on your behalf. And then I also put on the max autonomy. This is where Replit can go out and build on your behalf for hours and hours, which is fantastic. All right, guys, so there you have it. How to effectively plan and build your first mobile app with Replit Agent 3. By the way, guys, if you want to see exactly how to get your app on App Store, let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to create a version of that as well. And by the way, guys, we have a school community that helps you to take an app from idea to launch in just five days with a lot of additional AI value. The link is down in the description below. Let me know if you're currently building. Let me know what you're building. I'm excited to see. See you in the next one.